Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So I had a question from one of you guys, the viewers out there. So let me give you a little bit of the backstory. So I did a video on how your baggage affects your relationship and I had a question from one of you guys inserted in there and pretty much I'm gonna give the same answer but I'm sure most of you guys didn't see this person's comment. Okay, so her follow-up question was, how do I know if I still have the baggage from before? I thought that that was a great, great, great question for a follow-up and I'll also say that if you have not seen that um, baggage video of course I will have insert it up here at some point and if you missed that because you're so engrossed in this content then um, you can go ahead and click the description box below of course that video will be linked down there as well so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it right after this All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So how do you know if you're over your baggage? Again, a great question. The very first thing that I said to the young lady was, you know that you are over this person or the people who have harmed you when somebody else randomly brings up their name and you have no feelings. No feelings about their name being mentioned and you not wanting to cause bodily harm to that person or people because sometimes we hold on to our baggage when we got affected when we were children and sometimes unfortunately it's the caretaker that could be um, um, your actual biological parents it could be like a step parent or parents it could be that you were adopted so then you went through issues in the system it can be whoever and of course yes 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 of course you have to keep in mind that these things i.e your baggage can also come from your past relationships but when anybody mentions this person's name especially they know that you guys were a couple or if it was your parents or whomever the person was that offended you that caused you to have this emotional weight on you i.e your baggage somebody mentioned their name and you moving on with life it like don't even affect you you probably over that baggage that they caused you probably over that baggage the next thing that i shared with the young lady is you'll know when you're over that baggage when the next person comes along and does say a offense you know depending on what the baggage was right in reason right so but if the next person comes along they offend you in the exact same manner that the previous person did and you are able to be like you know what this is not working for me but further you're able to say, you know what, it's not working for me and I need to have an intelligent adult conversation. I need to sit this person down. I need to look this person in their eye and tell him or tell her, this is not working for me. This is why this is not gonna work for me. I totally understand if this is you, but this is not going to work for me. And if it's not gonna work for you, you have to be willing to walk away, especially because you don't know how the other person is going to react. If the other person is like, I mean, this is me. You, you take it and leave it. This is me. This is me. You have to be prepared to walk away from that because you're trying to have an adult conversation with them, an intelligent conversation with them to say, hey, this is what happened to me in the past. This is why this is affecting me this way. This is why it's not going to work for me. This is why you cannot do say it offense to me because it's gonna take me back to this. And that person, this person that you see before you has now worked on herself, on herself or himself. And guess what? That person from back in the day, I am no longer that person. I am continuously growing and I want somebody who is going to grow with me and not cause this hurt and pain and not bring it up if we have an argument like, don't bring up my baggage. Don't throw my baggage in my face. I'm being vulnerable. I'm letting down my guard. I'm taking off my mask that I show everybody else so you can be let into my world so we can truly connect with one another. And if that's not for you, I totally get it. No hard feelings at all. But what you're doing is not working for me. And so if their response is a negative one, but you know for some reason that they become like a little bit, I don't want to say hostile, but that's the word that I got for right now. 
they're a little bit hostile more than you want them to be, you can you can take a step back and just let them get it off their chest. And then you can kind of circle back around to the conversation when it is your turn to talk um, and then try to explain it to them further. Give them even more detailed information if you need to. Um, you know, depending on where you're at and how comfortable you are and you got and you two are so you can truly open up and um, let down your guard and super let them into your world. Obviously, if they're like, you know what, baby, I'm I'm so sorry. I had no idea this was going on with you. I didn't mean to do anything like this. I don't want to hurt you. I want us to grow like they're basically saying all of the right stuff. And you have evidence of them actually following through on their word. Yeah, you can pretty much guarantee that they are not going to treat you in such a way anymore. And they are also not going to be throwing this baggage in your face any longer. But you have to be willing to have an intelligent conversation when the next person comes along and does this particular thing to you. You'll know that you're over the baggage when you're able to just sit down and not throw a temp temper tantrum or not want to bust them upside their head. You know what? This, this, this didn't work for me before. It's not going to work for me now. And so I need to sit them down and talk to them about that. The third thing that I share with this young lady is you will know that you are over your baggage when you are able to wish that person well. Like, you, you seriously, when somebody brings up their name and they're trying that, that person is trying to be messy or they're just innocently bringing up the name because maybe you haven't talked to this person in a while and so they, you know, you guys are playing catch up. And in that time of you guys catching up, you just like, you know what? Things didn't work out, and I actually wish him or her the best, the best life. It didn't work out between us, and that's okay. And without any shade, not being sarcastic, like you truly mean it deep down from the pit of your gut. Like, no shade. I really wish them the best life that they can have because that's what I'm striving for. You'll also know and understand that you are over this person and their baggage that they help you to create for you that emotional pain and hurt that you're carrying around when you are truly ready to forgive that person again without any shade or not any um uh you know uh, expect expectations attached to you forgiving them like you're not forgiving them because you want them to give you an apology no because unfortunately sisters and brothers that apology may not ever come you have to be ready to forgive the person for your own sake, for your own sanity, so you can shut that door on that emotional pain and so you can open up your heart to allow somebody else into your world. So again, you can truly connect with the new person. Let them into your world. Let down your guard. Take off the mask. Be you. You and all your ugly glory, they get to see you when you're crying, when you're snotting and all that other stuff. And anytime you go through something, um, you know, just because life, life gets in the way and you're going through something, they can truly see that super softer side to you. Like my, my husband actually makes fun of me because um, most of you don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm very sensitive. But it depends on the person that I'm speaking with. So if you're one of my friends, most of the time you don't see the super sensitive side to me. The people that see the super sensitive side, as in I will cry at the drop of a hat, is my significant other, in this case my husband, and my siblings and parents. Those are the people that see the super sensitive side to me. You guys are coming into my world more and you're seeing a sensitive side to me, but not super sensitive because I have yet to cry on any of these videos and not that I'm like holding back from crying if I cry then I cry like that is what it is but uh, I haven't reached the point where I needed to cry when I'm trying to share something with you guys because it's really not about that I'm not looking for sympathy or anything but I am trying to share my story share my world open up myself to you guys because if you can learn from anything that I have been through then I have done my job. If you don't have to go through anything that I previously went through, then I have done my job. If I could save you from not being a statistic, i.e. a divorce A, I have done my job. That's my mission. If you're new here, my mission is to seriously decrease the divorce rate. That's my mission. 
while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. That's my mission, to create healthy romantic relationships. That's my mission. And so I'm able to do that if I'm helping you. And a lot of you guys are writing in and you're sharing with me like, oh my God, thank you so much. You have no idea how much you're helping me. That is so awesome, like on the level that you guys will never understand because I can't even express it in the words that I want to express it. Like that is just something I am just so honored and humbled by because I wish I had somebody to share their knowledge with me. So, I mean, obviously my life took me down the path that it was supposed to take me so I can come here and share these things with you guys. But in hindsight, if I could obviously write my life over, I wouldn't have went through a divorce because I wouldn't have married him. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? So if you can learn anything from me and my mission, then you know it's to decrease the divorce rate. Anyway, let's move on. The final thing that I share with a young lady is you will know that you are over your baggage when you can ask God to completely release all of those hurt and harmful feelings, emotional feelings within yourself, but then also the things that you want to do to them, as in hurt them. When you can ask God to release all that stuff from your heart, take it away, you good. That baggage no longer has a stronghold on you, nor that person. So I thank you guys for listening. Definitely let me know what your thoughts are. Is there anything else that you can share with the young lady? How do you know that you were over your baggage? How did you heal yourself? I definitely want to know. Let's go ahead and continue the conversation down in the comment section below. You guys know that I love to do that. Let's go back and forth and keep the dialogue going because many people are starting to read other people's comments. So I definitely want you guys to go ahead and comment. Of course, give me thumbs up. Share this message with everybody that you know who needs to hear it. And if you have not been following me on my social media, definitely go ahead and look for those links and follow me there too. She cutting up, so it's time for me to go. Deuces.